Live. We're live. All right. Hi, everybody. <laughs> We're in Atlanta. <laughs> Woo! There we go again. <laughs> Welcome, everybody, and I have an amazing audience tonight, and they are very vocal, and <laughs> I, like I said, Atlanta, I have been playing in Atlanta for, what, 20, 25 years, many, many years. Okay, Michael, where are we going now? Win Tao from Vietnam writes, Wow. Hi, Yanni. I'm Win Tao. I live in Vietnam. I admire you very, very much. Where is your music passion derived from? When you get stuck, what do you do to help you continue? Thank you so much. Uh, that's a great question. Wow. Vietnam. It's, uh, I know it's absolutely beautiful there because I spend a lot of time in Southeast East Asia. I have never been in Vietnam. I'm really sorry. I have a lot of fans there. And uh, everybody tells me in different countries around the place that you have to go to Vietnam. It's absolutely beautiful. And... Uh, we almost made it, by the way. About a year and a half ago, we were going to make it. There's, there are a lot of people there. We're going we're gonna to be coming to Vietnam anyway. Um, thank you for your question. I never get stuck. There's no such thing. I think it's an illusion. You know, the mental block, we call it. Translation, of course. Uh, it, I, don't, I don't believe it exists. I think your life stagnates. And then your art stagnates with it. In order to write books or paint or um, write music or whatever it is that you do, even if you do mathematics and physics, and it's the same. We all go to the same place to create. It's a place of surrender. I'm not going to go deep into it right now. But um, if you live life and you fulfill, or at least fill yourself with new experiences, you always evolve. Um, you just, uh, you have things to say. You have things to talk about as you're learning. This incredible amount of learning comes in. And uh, then you, for me, I have to use notes instead of words to explain or express. It's a passion. You're, you're evolving. There's an ancient Greek phrase that goes like this. Yerasko ai didaskomenos. It means I grow older, always being taught. I subscribe to that kind of thinking. Uh, it's a 3,000 year old saying. Uh, so I'm never going to stop learning and I'm going to keep going. And as long as I, my life is growing, then I'll have new ways to do music and even take the old music and progress it and move it or blend it or, uh, I, you know, your, my imagination is the limit. And I would like to play a song for everyone that's watching tonight and for Vietnam. I promise you I'm going to be there. Um, this one is a very special one and I know you know it. This one is called One Man's Dream.
Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Woo. <sighs> wow, that takes me away too, you know. It's different than talking. When you talk and then you have to go play this. I never realized that how different it is when you're using language versus music until I'm standing in front of you like this uh, without the veil that separates us normally. Uh, and I'm talking. And right now there are people around the world, I don't know where the next one is coming from, but um, that are probably should be in bed, uh, but they're staying up, they're drinking coffee, they're just setting the alarms <laughs> to wake up, <laughs> expecting this time. It's pretty nice. All right, Michael, you have another one. I do. Huh. Celine from Paris, France wants to say, Hello, dear Yanni. My name is Celine Fan. I'm from Paris, France and I'm a fan for 19 years. You are in your early 60s, but you seem 10 years younger, and you have an incredible energy. <laughs> How do you do it? What is your secret? <laughs> Thank you. Merci beaucoup, mademoiselle. <laughs> That's a great one. Wow. There's no secret. The, the, the way to stay young is to love life, to live it, to be happy. You know, enjoy life, huh? Yeah. It's, uh, it's uh, you know, my father, and we'll talk about that a little later on, has put this in me. He taught me, do not take life for granted. You must live it to the fullest, every last moment of it. Um, and he made sure he tried and tried again and again and again since I was young. Like, do not sleepwalk through life. Because you got to feel it. And I think uh, what's keeping me young is uh, encouragement from people like you. First of all, thank you very much again. Um, you, I think she's from Paris. You said Paris? Uh, Paris? Yes, correct. Ah. Je suis très heureux d'être de retour à Paris. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what I just said. I, I think I said something like, I'm very happy that I will be coming back or I'm coming back to Paris. Because <laughs> I've been there. I've been in the south of France. I've been in Paris, the most beautiful city in the world. Uh, it's really, truly not, not an exaggeration. It's stunning. And, uh, and I love the French culture. And I know France is going through some difficult times right now, but there are strong people. They've been through difficult times before, and I think they will overcome. Um, I would like to play a song for France and for everybody else in Europe and everybody else around the world uh, that I really like, that, that, that goes to my my heart. It's a very, very important piece of music for me. And after I finish playing it, I would sort of take, up, take it apart a little bit and show you the different aspects of the piece of music and what they are saying. Um, I wrote it for my mother. And I was trying to capture her personality. It's impossible. Uh, I mean, this a human being is like my mother. Is uh, very intricate. See, I use the word is, was. She's been gone for a long time, but she's here with me tonight. She's right here. So, anyway, the song is called Felita. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> I, <laughs> I'll play it for you, and then I will do something I've never done before. Um, I managed to, I, I attempted to explain and express different parts of your personality that were uh, dominant or very apparent. I'll play it for you.
Thank you. You know, like I said, there a, a few. I'm just going to take one minute and, and pull the song apart a little bit. Other than you know, the beginning of the song, the main theme is about her, the core. Um, there's a part. This, this. This is tenderness. your soul better than my mom. Um, the part where it gets boisterous and it's a major key and it's, uh, it gets loud, it's, uh, it describes her zest for life. She loved life. She just lived it, danced, sang. She loved to sing every night and, and she was alive. It was awesome to have her around. This, this is the part where it gets... into the tenderness aspect of it. And at the very end, uh, it is, uh, it's, I, I attempted to describe what her love towards me felt like to me. Um, and it's not the word love or agape in Greek, which is unconditional love. It's a specific word called storie. It's, it only means motherly love in Greek, and it's only used for that reason. And it's a, it's a magic word. Um, Softer than a mother's kiss. Thank you. Okay. That's emotional for me.